Hey, you guys. So, let me tell you, bitches. Let me tell you, bitches. So, I just got in the motherfucking house, right? A, your girl just got in the house. A bitch just got in the motherfucking house or whatever. I went and chill with this fine-ass motherfucking light-skinned nigga. He was fine as shit. He was light-skinned. He had dreads. And he was fine as shit. So, he hit me up or whatever. He trade. For the people that don't know what trade means, trade means he's undercover. So, the nigga undercover or whatever. He fine as shit. A light-skinned dreadhead. Girl, he fine. So, he texts my phone. He a nigga I been knowing. I been knowing. So, he texts my phone or whatever. Talking about some, you know, this late. It's like some fucking three, four something in the motherfucking morning. So I'm looking like, okay, bitch, let me text him back. He's like, what's up? We cool, but he never tried me up before. So, bitch, we was motherfucking texting, right? And he was like, shit, I'm slit horny. I want some ass. I want my dick sucked. I want such and such. I'm looking like, bitch, what? Then he said to girl, bitch, what? So, you know me. Look at y'all. I'm not a hoe. So don't even get that impression. Your girl not a motherfucking hoe. But you know, I've been knowing him for a minute or whatever, and he never tried me up, and he fired his shit. Your girl not a hoe, but your girl, you know, let him swoop up. Like, I let him come get a bitch. You know, I let him come get a bitch. So, he came and got your girl right. I'm thinking, the nigga gonna hit me up, talking about he wants some head, he wants some ass. First of all, I'm not a free bitch. I'm not a freebie. You gonna pay for this. All of this. So, you know he paid me some cute coinages or whatever. But the fact still re motherfucking main. The fact still re motherfucking main is that the nigga came and picked me up. The nigga came and picked me up. He was looking all good. Had on his gym shorts. Had on his slide in. Like he was looking good as fuck. And. When we got back to his motherfucking crib. The nigga. Was the circumcised bitch. He had a big dick. But was the circumcised. One thing about it bitch. I don't have a motherfucking issue. With niggas that ain't circumcised. I like a circumcised dick. It don't matter to me. As long as you got a big pretty dick, bitch, it don't matter to me. Big pretty dick and long as you paying me good. It don't matter to me. I don't give a fuck about your dick not being uncircumcised. As long as it's cute. But the nigga dick was musty as shit. The nigga dick was musty as shit. And I was so motherfucking mad. Bitch, I was mad as fuck. Mad as fuck. Don't look at this nigga for motherfucking gills. Finally, I got up in his motherfucking boxes. And his dick had not be musty. Don't y'all know how motherfucking mad I was? Bitch, I was so motherfucking... Oh! I was so mad. But I ain't gonna let it stress me. I ain't gonna let it stress me. Don't hit me up. Don't pick me up. Looking good as hell. And had a motherfucking nerd. For his dick to be musty. Nigga, don't you know how long I've been waiting on that dick? For you to try me out? Don't you know how long I've been waiting for you to try me up? And when you hit me up, you your dick wanna be musty. Bitch, at least if you come to get some motherfucking head or motherfucking ass, baby, your dick. Baby, your dick. Uh. Baby, your fucking dick. Fucking and hopping on some less dick. Fuck. 
the fuck? I'm too motherfucking cute to be hopping on anything with the bitch. I mean, but he money was good. <laughs> so I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain. Even though we ain't do nothing raw, but still, like, damn, the fuck? But y'all, I just had to tell y'all hoes about my motherfucking experience, and I had to tell you hoes. <laughs>